You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bat. Bah. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time. Appreciate life in 2021, man. You already know what's up, man. But you see we back, man, with another Nukes Top 5. You already know what's up, man. Drop with you in the chat, man, to let me know that you with me. And you got to stick around to the end if I'm sticking around to the end. You already know I don't really fuck with this shit like that, man. But we back. This is five scary ghost videos from very haunted places. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Terrifying toys. Paranormal investigator Eddie McCowan from the YouTube channel Sooth Paranormal got a call from his longtime friend Lee about some odd occurrences that had taken place in his home. The house has a creepy haunted history and several witnesses have experienced paranormal activity while visiting the residence. Mm. Eddie's friend Lee decided to try out some strange experiments and had purchased a few dolls to try and trigger any ghostly activity in the hopes of capturing it on video. It worked. After Lee shows Eddie the disturbing footage, Eddie, as a skeptical paranormal investigator, goes to Lee's house to check it out for himself. They set up the creepy dolls around a Ouija board and start recording. These motherfuckers. Then, this happens. If so, she's ready. Did you see that? About to put the f up. Did that just move? Whoa. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I, no, <laughs> I, ain't, man. Mess, yeah. I ain't messing with that. Move up there. I'm moving. I'm right here. I'm not here, man. Uh. What? What? Well, that just moved on its own. That just moved on its own. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Boy, oh. where'd it go? He tripping. What? He oh, tripping. <laughs> Attached to you like it was stuck to you like tape. I wish I could have. I wish I could have caught that. You didn't. Okay, good. What the? As you can tell from Eddie's weird reaction, he's more than a little freaked out. He says that at the time he checked for strings, thinking that his friend Lee might be pulling a prank on him, but he couldn't find anything to explain what he had just witnessed. To this day, after many investigations. Eddie of Sooth Paranormal says he has never experienced anything like what happened that night. The video remains unexplained. And continuing with the theme of haunted dolls, this video was sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Joel Bruce. He says his niece was filming her younger sister who had found one of her old dolls and decided to play with it outside their home. What happens next is truly bizarre. The doll seems to turn its head to look at the young girl, who doesn't even notice. The incident was so unexpected that the sister is actually zooming the camera away as it takes place. But I'll try to stabilize the video and keep it zoomed as much as I can. The fuck? Another creepy doll video was sent in by TikTok user Liliana Castillo. In the video, her daughter Golly can be seen playing with her doll. 
everything is fine until she seems to hear something odd that catches her attention. And Juliana, how is this video to you? Good? Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much, Kiliana. You are a good sport. So, Kiliana, what? What the fuck? Did you see it? Watch closely right at the corner of the screen. Right when Gali appears to hear something to her left, the doll turns its head to look at her. Horrified, Gali runs to her mom to tell her what happened. The doll has since been thrown out in the trash. Losing is marbles. Museum Museo de Horror, located in Saltillo, Mexico, often uploads their own paranormal investigations to their YouTube channel and Facebook page. In this investigation, museum director Alejandro Mortem explores an abandoned park in the middle of the night and streams it live on Facebook. He soon begins to hear strange sounds, almost like pebbles or stones falling on the steps all around him. Hay algún espíritu o entidad que se encuentra en este lugar que quiera manifestarse ahora, que quiera hablar conmigo. Escucho como, no sé si es una piedra. Ya van dos veces que lo escucho. After a while, Alejandro finally realizes what the sounds are. No sé si es eso lo que están aventando. No sé. Someone or something is dropping marbles close to Alejandro's feet. What happens next is downright chilling. Hay alguien aquí en este lugar. Algo, no sé. Ay, cabrón, qué chingados fue eso. What looks like the small hand of a child grabs one of the marbles that has fallen near Alejandro's feet. He spins around, but there's no one there. Is this the ghost of a child still playing with marbles at the abandoned park? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Andy Sauces Kamase is trying to record a video for TikTok when he spots something truly chilling. The face of a little girl seems to be peeking out at Andy from behind his wardrobe. However, when Andy checks the area, no one there. Not only is there no one in the space, but Andy demonstrates in a follow-up video how no one could have even been sitting in this narrow area to begin with. Voy a aclarar algunos youtubers que en esta parte de aquí atrás, en esta parte, sí hay un espacio, pero un espacio donde cae mi puño. Y aquí, supuestamente, fue donde apareció la cabeza. Hell no. Lo malo que esta huevadita te. Troperito aquí. Es bien pesado. 
so, what do you think? Is this the ghost of a little girl, or is it just a very good fake? Let me know down in the comments. TikTok user Rubik's Cube was bored and home alone when he decided to learn a dance and record it for TikTok. Now keep in mind he says he was home alone at the time and has no pets. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red Now this creepy video went viral and it was sent in by viewers of my channel so many times that I felt it had to have a spot in this week's top five. However, it was a different video posted by Rubik's Cube that really caught my attention. During renovations of his house, he recorded this chilling footage. Someone or something seems to be standing behind the see-through curtains. But as he quickly pans back only seconds later, the creepy figure is now gone. Is it a ghost or a TikTok hoax? You decide. This shit crazy. Taking flight. Now I've tried to find the original source of this video, but with no luck. All that is known about this mysterious clip is that it was recorded at the now empty El Dorado Airport in Bogota, Colombia. A guy is walking around completely alone when he hears strange sounds coming from the airport's bathroom. Bueno, estoy nuevamente aquí en la puerta del baño. No hay nadie acá. No hay nadie. Ya, ya tampoco hay nadie. No hay nadie allá. Dios mío. Bueno, voy para adentro. La sangre de Cristo me cura. ¿Qué? Este motherfucker. Hola, hola. No, no, no. Hola. No, 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 no. Hola, hola. ¿Estás acá? ¿Dónde estás? Se prenden las luces. ¿Estás jugando con la llave? ¿Ah? ¿Estás jugando con la llave? ¿Ah? Necesito otra prueba. Necesito otra prueba. ¡Ay, marica! Now, it's hard enough to get one of these automatic faucets to work when you want them to. So it seems like it would be very difficult to fake this for a video. But what do you think? Is it real or just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. Cobb Mansion. On the YouTube ghost hunting channel, the Jason are investigating the 140-year-old Cobb Mansion in Virginia City, Nevada. The mansion was built on a lot where long ago a small home was lost in the Great Fire of 1875, a fire which burned down most of Virginia City, Nevada. The new owners of Cobb Mansion have reported multiple incidents of intense paranormal activity inside what is now the Cobb Mansion Bed and Breakfast. When Patrick and his team start investigating, it becomes clear that something just doesn't want them there. What the? Is this the room where you worked? What was that? That just hit me in the jaw. What was that? I don't know. What the? Is this the room where you worked? What was that? That just hit me in the jaw. I'm not kidding you, it hit me in the jaw. I know, I, I like. I heard it bounce off of you and then land on the floor. <gasps> what is that, dude? No. What is that? A dude, rock? It was underneath this stuff. How the hell did it get underneath that? What is that? A rock? I don't know. Or a tooth? No, it's a rock. It's a rock. What the heck? As they continue their investigation downstairs, one of their static cameras is recording the upstairs hallway. They captured chilling footage of something they can't explain. 
head back downstairs to continue the investigation, and once I review this footage, realize we captured something unbelievable. What's really strange about this is that the book hovers in place for several minutes before falling to the ground. And when we head back upstairs to get this night vision camera, we find out that whatever's up here wasn't finished yet. It fell. Ooh. Obviously it failed, right? The fuck? Whoa! Dude, it fell! It fell! Ooh. Okay. Now, just a bit shaken up, they head back downstairs. A bit? And this is when things get truly bizarre. Dude. Are you... I feel like a, a breeze of coldness. What is that, Patrick? What do you see? I just saw literal... My throat is like a whole me. being walk by, and I heard it. Did you see that? This, the, the night vision. This just died. It just come. Everything's dying oh, right now. Hey guys, oh. everything's dying. All right, let's He's go. Scared oh. as fuck. Let's go. He's scared as fuck. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do you see it moving? Yep. There was like a scream. This oh, God, just. Please. Let's go. Let's go. Come let's on. Go. Did you see it? As all of their equipment starts to fail, a tall dark shadow can be seen going from right to left at the end of the hallway. Oh, God. Let's go, let's go. Do you see it moving? Yep. Oh, God. Let's go, let's go. Do you see it moving? Yep. What makes this footage even more compelling is that just earlier, cameraman Jason had seen the same tall shadow at the other end of the hallway. We head downstairs to start the sensory deprivation experiment, but before the cameras were even rolling, Jason sees something that absolutely terrifies him. The guys were walking up the stairs to do sensory deprivation. It was literally standing at that door. There was there was a legit figure just standing right here. I'm sorry. It was literally just standing right here. Like I got full body chills right now. Like can barely handle it full body chills. How tall was it? Taller than you. Like by maybe a foot. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Do you see it moving? Yep. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Do you see it moving? Yep. So, did Patrick and his team capture a ghost on camera? You decide. You can check out the full investigation over on their YouTube channel, The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations. Thanks for watching. Alright, so that was five scary ghost videos from very haunted places, bruh. That's all I can say. This shit, some of the stuff that they be catching on these cameras be unexplainable. Or like it's a really elaborate hoax or some shit. This shit is crazy, man. You already know, man. If y'all made it to the end, you the real ones. We the real ones. Till next time, man. Self-love and positivity, Fire Squad. I got you when you know it. Hey.